ಸಪ್ತಂ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾ ಮಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿಕ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಉತ್ಪದ್ ಕಮಲಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಂಶ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರ ಜಾತ ಸಗನ್ ರಘುನಾಥ ವಿತ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧು ವೇತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸೈಗನ್ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ ವಿತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನ ಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧ ಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ತಾಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಾಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಾಂಛಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯವ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮ ನಮ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧ ಶಿವ ಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಓ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಮಯ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ from whatever little understanding i have i shall try to share with you on this vast subject just considering as a drop of my devotional service and nothing more so today's topic what i have chosen today is uh, understanding karma uh, the bhagavad gita it contains five primary subject matters parmatma super soul atma soul prakriti is nature kal time karma actions or activity just a minute i will just out of these first four are eternal but karma is material the four eternal subject matters cannot perish but karma perish or it can be destroyed as if it was never there karma is anadi that is uh, without a beginning primordial this uh, knowledge about karma was delivered to arjuna in the battlefield of kurukshetra by lord krishna when arjun was bewildered at that time of battle he asked lord krishna that why do you want to engage me in the ghastly warfare the lord said that one cannot achieve freedom from reaction of karma merely by abstaining from work nor by uh, such renunciation one can attain perfection everyone is forced to act helplessly according to the qualities he has uh, acquired from the mode of uh, material nature and cannot refrain from doing something even for a moment we cannot even for a moment abstain from work so and if one somehow refrains his senses of actions that is karmindriya but whose mind that dwells on the sense object is a pretender and he is cheating himself and in comparison if a person sincerely tries to control the senses by mind and begin karma yoga meaning he is performing actions with devotion but without attachment so from the sense that means he has uh, withdrawn his mind from the sense objects 
this karma yoga is far superior now in the light of above lord is guiding arjuna to perform his prescribed duty as doing this is better than not doing any work as one cannot maintain his physical body without work lord reveals another secret to arjuna in relation to karma he declares that any work done as a sacrifice for vishnu has to be performed and that shall not create bondage otherwise the work will cause bondage in the material world so just perform your prescribed duties for the satisfaction of the lord thus in this way we will always remain free from bondage or reactions of karma although the karmic cycle it goes round how it goes round like a merry go round without stopping but the only consolation here is that this karma or karmic cycle is material and it can be this can be destroyed in the beginning of creation when lord created men women demigods along with it sacrifices for vishnu were also created work done as yagya or sacrifice to vishnu it fulfill all the desires of living happily and achieving liberation this is the proper way of performing your karmic duties and one remains free from bondage of karma also so this is what karma yoga those who worship demigods through prescribed methods they enjoy material gifts but remain bound in karmic reaction these people are also said to be bereft of knowledge because they waste their precious human life for mundane activities gains such people are called karmis bhagavad gita 7.20 here it is as spoken by the lord I'm going to share it one minute yes kama stai stai hrita gyana prapadyante nya devata tam tam niyamam asthaya prakritya niyata swaya those whose intelligence has been stolen by material desires surrender unto demigods and follow the particular rules and regulations of worship according to their own nature the next class of people are those who have utter dis- disregard for vedic injunctions and live their life for animalistic needs only such karma is called vikarma and such people are called vikarmi bhagavad gita 3.12 defined by the lord इस्तान भोगान ही देवा दास्यंते यज्ञ भाविता ताय दतान प्रादया भयो यो भुंकते स्तेन इवसा इन चार्ज ऑफ द वेरियस नेसेसिटीज ऑफ लाइफ द डेमी गॉड्स बीइंग सेटिस्फाइड बाय द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ यज्ञ सैक्रिफाइस विल सप्लाई ऑल नेसेसिटीज टू यू बट ही who enjoy such gifts without offering them to the demigods in return is certainly a thief so those who are not self realized they must perform karmic duties prescribed by the vedas under varna ashrama dharma but one who is self realized and has realized his true nature as the eternal servant of the lord and distinct from material air body he has no other purpose to fulfill in discharging of his prescribed duties nor he has any reason to perform such work so we will find so many examples of self realized person in bhagavad gita and bhagavatam so a person a perfect example of a self realized person but engaged in prescribed duties is king janak who attained perfection by performance of prescribed duties although he was self realized therefore krishna says that for the sake of educating people in general you should perform your work. so 
तो आर नेक्स्ट आर प्रिंसिपल आचार्य श्री रूपा गोस्वामी हैज रिकमेंडेड युक्त वैराग्या मीनिंग वन कैन कीप परफॉर्मिंग हिज प्रिस्क्राइब ड्यूटीज एज एन ऑफरिंग टू कृष्णा yet remaining detached from its fruits or results this is the perfect more suitable path for this age a kali yuga age lord krishna himself performed all the prescribed duties without attachment and he showed us also how to perform work by his own example therefore we can say in light of the above explanations that karma binds you in this material world but if performed as told by the goswamis and krishna himself by his example karma will have no power to bind you in this material world the lord he declared to arjun that if i ever fail to engage in carefully performing prescribed duties then all men would follow my path and thereby destroy the peace of all living beings both the ignorant and the learned perform their duties how but the difference is ignorant performs their karma with attachment to result but the learned they perform without attachment just for the sake of leading people on the right path so every one of us are bound by the laws of karma from bhagavatam 1.5.18 तस्तो प्रायते ताको विदो न लभ्यते यदर्तमान उपरी यदा तल्यते दुखवाद अन्यता सुखम कालीन सवत्र गभरा रमसा पर्सन हु आर एक्चुअली इंटेलिजेंट एंड फिलोसफिकली इंक्लाइंड शुड एंडेवर ओनली फॉर द पर्पस बट एंड बट एट एंड विच इज नॉट ऑप्टेनेबल even by wandering from the topmost planet brahmaloka down to the lowest planet patal as far as happiness derived from sense enjoyment is concerned it can be obtained automatically in course of time just as in course of time we obtain miseries even though we do not desire them prabhupad says we have got our destiny so much happiness and so much distress this is a mixture in this material world you cannot have unadulterated happiness that is not possible you cannot change it this is the law of nature suppose you have given uh, rupees 100 to a poor man this means the poor man has to pay you rupees 400 in the next life with interest this is the law of karma so next now example of understanding the law of karma anything good action or bad action we have to suffer or enjoy we cannot escape it but if you sacrifice for the cause of the supreme lord that has no reaction Prabhupad lecture on Bhagavad Gita four point one four, April three nineteen seventy four. He explained that as Krishna has prescribed this law of karma for systematic life of all the conditioned souls, that does not mean that Krishna is one of them. Krishna is not bound by the law of karma. Not only Krishna, but Krishna's devotees also. इति माम यो भजंती कर्मा भी ना साबध्यते कृष्णा गिव्स अस द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन हाउ टू लिव इन दिस कंडीशन स्टेट बट ही इज नॉट वन ऑफ अस ही इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल देयरफॉर ही सेज ना माम कर्मानी लिम्पति देयर इज नो वर्क दैट अफेक्ट्स मी दिस इज आल्सो 4.14 नाउ फ्रॉम इंद्रा द किंग ऑफ हेवन to the living entities living on earth everyone is bound by the law of karma i'll just ch- change
the Bhagavad Gita 4.22, Prabhupada says, law of karma is so accurate that every action is being recorded. It is very subtle. 4.22. Yatracha labha santushto dvandvavati to vimatsara sama siddhaiva asiddhaucha kritva pina nebadhyate. He who is satisfied with gain, which comes of its own accord, who is from, free from duality and does not envy, who is steady in both success and failure, is never entangled, although performing actions. In an another lecture on Srimad Bhagavatam 1.5.33, Vrindavan, August 1974, Prabhupada stated, if you live only on sense gratification, then you become entangled in the law of karma. Karma is your activity, should be dovetailed in the matter of satisfying the Supreme Lord. That is the way of devotional service, which will free you from this entanglement. One can never be liberated from the bondage of fruitative actions, karma. Even when one is great philosopher, but an ordinary man who has firm faith in the injunctions of the Lord, even if uh, he is uh, unable to execute, can become liberated from the bondage of law of karma. Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita 3.31243, Lecture, Los Angeles, January 1969. Therefore, from the above truths about karma, one can realize that although karma causes bondage, but it is not invincible and it can be destroyed. If we sincerely and with faith accept the teachings of Prabhupada and take shelter of a bona fide spiritual master. Here, uh, I would also like to share with you all a very enlightening understanding of our uh, status uh, in the hierarchy of the eternal associates. It was uh, shared by His Holiness Bhakti Brahad uh, Bhagwat Maharaj from South Africa in one of his seminars which I was also lucky to attend from uh, top to bottom, this hierarchy I'm going to mention now. Uh, number one is the eternal gopi associates of Radha Kund. Then comes second, eternal gopi associates in Govardhan. Then eternal gopi associates in Vrindavan. Eternal gopi associates uh, Mathura Mandal. Then the eternal gopi associates of Vaikuntha. Then comes Uttam Adhikari, then Madhyam Adhikari, then comes the Kanisht Adhikari, then comes the Gyani, then comes Karmi, then there are fruitative workers, then lastly come Vikarmis, people acting without guidance of Vedic knowledge. So finally, uh, in the end, I would like to... Uh, conclude this subject with a very hopeful and inspiring realization of Prabhupada from his book, Science of uh, Self-Realization, in which he mentioned that generally Krishna does not interfere in one's destiny, karma, but for his devotees, he can change destiny. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.
Hare Krishna, nobody is here. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Can you hear me? Yes, Mataji. Yes. Okay, I think nobody is, uh, Mataji is not there, Govinda Mataji. Oh. I think I'm able to see her, Mataji, but... Uh, I can't hear you. Am I audible now, Mataji? Uh, no, very, very, uh, very soft, only I can hear. Very sound is not there. Oh, okay. Just increase the volume. I think your volume is mine is full. So, are you able to hear me now? Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Are you able to hear me now? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, I don't know. Maybe some problem at my end. That Mataji. Yes. My voice is okay. You can hear me properly. Yes, Mataji. I'm able to hear you properly. Okay. So we'll end the. Uh, Class here now. Mataji is not okay. there. Yeah. Okay, Mataji. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank Krishna. you. Thank you so much, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.